Hi, in this short video, I want to talk briefly about the explanation that we give to children and young people about why they couldn't safely be cared for at home with their mother and or father. Children and young people often have questions about why they cannot be cared for within their birth family, and in particular, with their mother or their father or both. In the absence of an explanation about this, they do at times have a tendency to see the decision as being somehow their fault. Not that they were responsible for any actions or omissions that concern child protection authorities at the time, but rather they blame themselves for having been inadequate in some way, not being lovable enough, or that their behaviour was somehow bad and unmanageable. In our attempt to reassure children and young people about the circumstances under which they were taken into care, one of the more common explanations that I have heard across the past 28 years that I've worked in this sector is that the parents were unwell. Now, the, while the intention here is to provide reassurance that the, it wasn't the children's fault they entered care, this explanation does have the potential to create some worry and concern amongst children and young people that if their contemporary carers themselves become unwell, that they may have to move home again. Taking into account both my concerns about the explanation of unwellness and children and young people's own propensity to blame themselves for their removal and placement in out-of-home care. I tend to favour saying to children and young people that though their parents love them very much, and from my interactions with birth parents over a number of decades, I believe that to be true, that their parents found life very difficult. So difficult, in fact, that they were unable to provide care for the children at that time. I might also add that, to the best of our knowledge, we, we understand that mum and or dad are still finding life really difficult, which is why we support opportunities for you to have contact with them and maintain a relationship with them. But the decision has been made to not return you to their care at this time. Responding to children and young people in this way, I believe, addresses their propensity to see themselves in, in, as inadequate in some way, as being unloved or unlovable, if only because their own parents weren't able to maintain their care or maintain care of them. And to provide a less alarming and also understandable explanation for most children and young people as to why the decision was taken to place them in out of home care in the first place.